frozen panels. The sun is just hitting them. And they'll warm up. We're about 9.15 in the morning. We're producing about 80 amps. We've got 72 net to play with. We're charging our batteries, but we can go turn some other stuff on and use some of this power. So here's our pool pump. And the pump is pulling about 486 watts right now. And the chlorinator, I don't know how much that's pulling. So I'll let this run another half an hour or so. And it's about 917. And now with the pool pump on, you can see that we're pulling about 420 watts on L1 and 330 watts on L2, using up a little more power. But we still got a net 66 amps going into our battery, and it's now at 84%. Okay, so this is the water heater, and it's currently shut off. I'm waiting for the sun to come up. We currently have about 50 gallons of hot water, and when everybody gets up, take showers, run the laundry machine, all that kind of stuff. Then around 10, 11 o'clock when we're getting a lot of power, I'll switch this over to the solar and we'll heat all that water back up. Okay, so it's about 10 a.m. and I've got close to 100 amps coming off of the panel on two chargers. We've got net 76 amps going into the batteries and they have now charged up to 93%. So that's doing good. And we're pulling about 900 watts on um, base loads plus the pool pump so with this amount of power coming in I think we can up how much we're using let's run some other stuff okay so I'm gonna shut the pool pump off because it's about 33 degrees now I don't have to worry about that freezing up anymore so I'm gonna cut the pool pump off save some power there because we don't need that anymore and next we're gonna turn the dryer on switch the dryer over to the solar and use some of that up on our dryer. Now we're pulling about six or seven thousand watts. Okay, so now you can see we've got about a hundred and ten, over a hundred and ten amps coming off the chargers. And we're losing them 15 amps out of our batteries. So we're pulling about six over 6,000 watts. Here you can see the sun is just over the trees up there. Just over that row of trees. Till later, about 2 o'clock, we run into this tree and that will block it out. Okay, so I'm switching off the dryer, putting it on the utility. And now, we're going to switch on the water heater. And you see the current jump up. That should be about 3,500 watts. Still putting 40 amps into the battery and we're charging while we're heating water. Let's let that go for a while. So we need to think about what else can we run now while we've got all this extra power coming off this panel. Uh, so that we get it all done before 2 o'clock, which is when we want to start really limiting what we're running. So here I just popped on the water heater again. Uh, there's not much to heat up, but... And you can see that got the chargers pushing that power back in. So the batteries are full, but uh, when you turn something on, it allows the power to flow. Okay, so it's about 2.30. And you can see that this big tree is blocking our sun. So we've got a lot of shade on the panel. Just that top corner's still hitting. So what we want to do now is start cutting back on what we're using. Switch this stuff back over to the utility. A little bit, not too much just yet. From about 2.30 on, we're not going to run any more of these big loads. No dryers, no water heaters. No well pumps. We're just going to keep just the base loads and probably keep all these on through the, through the night. Mm -hmm. 